let's do a practice problem to see how well we understand uh, when torque is big and when it's small. Let's imagine again we're going to be pulling on our wrench and trying to turn a bolt. We have a certain amount of force F that we're able to muster and we're going to try to use that force in various ways to maximize our torque. Now we all know that if you want to pull on a wrench the, the best you would pull at the end of the wrench but some of us have even had the experience of trying to take a piece of pipe and throw it over the handle of the wrench so as to extend the length of the wrench. And that has been, uh, you know, we all know that's kind of useful because it gives us a little bit more leverage. So let's try to compare the torques of these various uh, scenarios. Remember that torque is given by R times F times sine of the angle between those two vectors. And we know that F is the same in this four sets of examples here. So we're really considering R and the sine uh, function. The smallest torque in any of these cases will be B because it's happening at a distance R, the length of the wrench, and the angle between R and F is less than 90 degrees, so the sine of that angle will be less than 1. So that's going to be the smallest torque. The next two, which are equivalent, actually equal in magnitude, are A and D. In both A and D, the angle between the force vector and R is 90 degrees, and the distance between uh, the pivot point and where the force is being applied is just R, the length of the wrench. That rod that's in point in figure D is completely irrelevant. It's just like the rod pulls, you know, you're pulling on the rod, the rod pulls on the wrench. It's not adding extra, extra, any extra length. So it doesn't actually help you. And the largest case is C. That's the one where you're getting some extra mechanical advantage because the rod increases the length R from the point of the pivot to the point where you're applying the force. And that's also at 90 degrees, so that actually that works out to be uh, sine of 90th 1. So C will be the case of the largest torque.